guys, my name is Maggie and I thought that today I could bring you guys along with me on my day off. It's just going to be chill. I'm going to visit my cousin. He's got a really awesome plant collection and we might do some repotting together. Yeah. Okay, so we're just doing some repot. This is my cousin, Wei. <laughs> Oh, she is. That absorbed a lot of hate. My hands. This is small. This is a This guy almost died. Twice. <laughs> yeah, I really needs a more coarse mix of roots. Basically, a mush. No, I, so. I think it'll be fine to be honest, because that's pretty sufficient. Okay. The good stuff. So I just put it in there. Plant cutting powder. To save this, we will chuck it in the bin. <laughs> we are about to pot some succulents and cacti. We're gonna move it into a really coarse mix with just uh, basically just rocks. So it'll be super fast draining, but it will need liquid fertilizing. Tickling that root ball. <laughs> tickle, tickle, tickle. <laughs> Corner. Yeah, it's corking. Kuchi <laughs> kuchi. It's corking. <laughs> is that lopsided? Yeah, it is. <laughs> should be right? Yeah, it should be right. It's very lopsided, but that's okay. It's got like hot pink flower, that's pretty cool. Nico? Midway through repotting, we got distracted by an interesting sound. Mm. It's got oh, some horse. Eh? Oh, that was a machine. <laughs> no. And back to repotting. A little bit of mesh here, so that when we keep this indoors, the soil's not going to go everywhere with these huge holes. <laughs> 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 I sound like the horse. No. <laughs> so the soil mix that we've gone for is indoor potting media with some different size perlite and a bit of orchid bark. We've just added some slow release cacti succulent um, fertilizers, which are those little yellow pods. Come Chico, chico, chico. Whoa. Look at that roots. Oh. It's a root system, hey. Mm. That's nice. Oh, good. It's got yeah. nice secondary roots. It reminds me of a Pokemon. We bought these at an orchid fair. <laughs> Look at that. Check out the root system. Whoa. So it restores a lot of moisture then. Yeah. I thought this was I thought this was some sphagnum moss. It's actually the dying flower. <laughs> Little baby. Whoa, too much. Drink. <laughs> Drink. Drink up <laughs> while you can. Whoa, whoa, look at that. So so fast draining. That's so not even fast draining. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, it's not bad. Water it here as well then. To the hot. Whoops! Look, this needs more soil. The roots are basically exposed. Now to finish, I just wanted to show you some of how my cousin curates his space with the Japanese and Scandinavian aesthetic called Japandi style. A really powerful way to display your plants is to think about staging.
The Adenia glauca is native to southern Africa and it's part of the passion flower family. The Dioscoria elephantipes is one of my favorites because it develops this geometric cortex. The Euphorbia obesa is also called the baseball plant and you can definitely understand why. The Passera phagoroides or bark tree is from Oaxaca, Mexico and it has a thick trunk with reddish peeling bark. So this guy is my first child. <laughs> <laughs> guys i hope you enjoyed the plant vlog pretty easy going and i'll be seeing you next time bye